and welcome to Tech Me Out. Today we're going to be taking a look at what is on my iPhone 5. Now I'm speaking more in reference to jailbreak tweaks and I'm not going to go into all of them but I'm going to go into some of them such as my lock screen here. I'm currently running LS Daylock. Now if I took this lock screen off and I had my standard lock screen with my standard clock up here how I removed the background for the slider down here as well as the slider up top was achieved with hide bottom up I think. Either way um, if I mispronounced it or I said it in the wrong order then I will have the name of the tweak that I downloaded in the video. Now how I got boss in this left hand corner was achieved with Zeppelin and how I got the smiley face there was achieved with a Wi-Fi uh, symbol indicator. I'd also like to note that my battery percentage is hidden however with an activation method you set which in my case is tapping on the right hand side up here it will then show me a quick percentage of what my battery is. And that is done with battery peak. So you don't have to have it visible taking up space 24 seven. Instead, you can make it visible when you need it. And I like that. Going into my iPhone 5, we're greeted with a theme known as RHD. Um, and I got my icons in this layout right here with a tweak called Iconoclasm. And let's see what type of layout I'm running because I don't remember off of the top of my head. So I am using the 4x4 dense layout for those of you that are curious which one I'm using. For the uniform layout and for the extras layout, I have it set to 5 column SB 5x4. So those are the settings for Iconoclasm if you're wondering what I'm using to get this look right here on my iPhone 5. In addition to those tweaks, I am also running Page 2D, which will allow me to scroll between between my pages from left to right in addition to up and down. So in essence what I have is page one, slide up, page two, slide to the right, page three, and slide up, page four, or inverse that however you want to do it. But these are my pages that I can swipe between so I just have four pages. And a way to indicate what page you're on, if you notice down here at the bottom, the indicator will then appear showing you what page you're looking at in case you start to get confused because it can be a little confusing. So looking on this page, you'll notice that I have my badges appearing a little bit differently than they normally do. Here's another page where I have more badges where you can kind of get a better view of how they look. So in essence, my badges are clear up here and how I did that was with a tweet called colored badges where if you go into Winterboard, you're greeted with a wide array of options for different colored badges. And I just have mine set to clear. Another tweak I have installed up here is iWidgets. So if I hold down here and I select another tweak that I've installed called Climacons Widget, which is pretty cool. And I change my city code to what I would like for it to be, as well as my language for what I would like for it to be and my temperature. And my refresh interval and I select add and it's at the bottom and it's a little hard to see now so I'm gonna just change my wallpaper so now that should be appearing a little bit better in terms of the widget down there but that is achieved with our widgets in addition to having these tweaks up here I also have infinity dock which allows me to scroll between more than one page in my dock so I have my phone my mail and my messages application here However, if I want to alter the view a little bit and I slide to the left, I then will be able to see my Instagram application. I also have 3D board. I've done a video on that one. And if you take a look at my device, it now has a 3D effect to it. So that's 3D board there. It is a paid tweak, but it gives you a little bit of a different look to your device to kind of impress your friends a little bit if that's something you care to do. But that's it for now for the What's On My iPhone Jailbreak Edition. Please make sure you drop down below what you thought of this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you wanna check me out on my other social sites, the links will be down below in the description box. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out. Uh, you